हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन द सीरीज ऑन द इनकम टैक्स केसेस टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द केस ऑफ विनरो कमर्शियल इंडिया लिमिटेड वर्सेस प्रिंसिपल कमिश्नर ऑफ इनकम टैक्स एंड अनदर दिस केस हैज बीन रिपोर्टेड इन 457 आईटीआर एट पेज नंबर 418 एंड द मैटर हैज बीन डिसाइडेड बाय कलकत्ता हाई कोर्ट एंड द डेट ऑफ द जजमेंट इज 22 नवंबर 2022 एज ऑल वी नो दैट एट प्रेजेंट एंड With effect from first April 2021, there is amendment in Section 80 IA, Subsection 4, Clause 5, Section 80 IA, Subsection 7, Section 80 AC, and Rule 18 Triple B, Sub Rule 2, and Rule 12 Sub Rule 2. According to which, if the assessee wants to claim the deduction under Section 80 IA, then the audit report required. to claim that deduction should be filed up to the date of filing the return of income if the audit report is not filed or if it is filed or it is not approved then in that cases the assessee cannot get the benefit of section 80 ia deduction but prior to that it was the view point of the various courts that the audit report which is required under section 80 ia if it is not submitted with the return of income but it was made available to the assessing officer at the time of the assessment itself then it should be treated as a procedural lapse and because of that the assessee should not be denied the deduction under section 80 ia in the present case the case the assessment year was 1415 the assessee was claiming the deduction under section 80 ia but the audit report was not submitted up to the date of filing of return which was required for claiming the deduction under section 80 ia eo denied the deduction although the provisions were not applicable for that assessment year cit appeal appealed the order of the assessing officer so the assessee was before the itat the itat in its order admitted that that there is a law in which the various courts have admitted that filing the audit report not in time that is not up to the date of filing of the return is only a procedural lapse which can be cured by the assessee by filing it during the assessment proceedings but at the same time when the department said that and uh, uh, made the itat aware about the amendment of 1st april 2021 then the itat remanded the matter back to the assessing officer by uh, giving the direction to verify whether the audit report has been filed up to the date of filing of the return the assessee challenged this order before the calcutta high court by saying that the itat was not correct in remanding the matter by taking the shelter of the amended provisions because those provisions were not applicable to the case of the ssc and the ssc has filed the audit report during the assessment proceedings and that was uh, and, and that entitles the ssc to claim the deduction under section 80 ia it was also the submission of the ssc that uh, the point which the department has not raised at the time of the assessment at the cit appeal or at the time of itat that the new amendment has come it cannot be raised at the level of the high court proceedings so friends in this case the high court quashed the order of the itat and allowed the ssc the deduction under section 80 ia for the assessment year 14 15 by saying that the provisions which have been amended with effect from 1st april 2021 is not applicable to the ssc and at that time the law was that that not filing the audit report which is required for claiming the deduction under section 80 ia is not a substantive provision and it is only a procedural lapse due to which the deduction under section 80 ia cannot be denied to the ssc friends the take away from this case is that we should be very sincere in filing our return of income in time in all the audit reports and all the other forms which are applicable for claiming any deduction because if they will not be filed in time then the ssc has to see the and take the shelter of the condonation provisions or the appeal provisions which are very lengthy and which can 
eat up a lot of energy in the form of monetary terms and in the time uh, and in the form of time at the end of this video once again i am repeating the name of the case the name of the case is windro commercial india limited versus principal commissioner of income tax and this case has been reported in 457 itr at page number 418 and the matter has been decided by calcutta high court and the date of the judgment is 22nd november 2022 thank you friends